Hey there, JK's Wonders from Down Under fans. Again, we have a, uh, well, this week is going to be a bit special since it's a pay per view weekend. I uh, figured, you know, why not do two reviews? One will be of the uh, pay per view, which will be uploaded straight after this, and this one will actually be about a CD. Um, the CD I, sh I will be reviewing is Pearl Jam's Backspacer. Bit old, I know, but whatever. It's a good album. Um, yeah, as uh, most, well, I hope most people would know um, from my first video, I'm a bit of a Pearl Jam fan. Um, they were a grunge band in the 90s, famous for songs such as Jeremy and uh, even Flow from the album 10. Um, just because I can, I give that album 10 out of 10, because it's called 10. <laughs> I kid, it's got good tracks. Um, Alright, so as you can see from the uh, cover of Backspacer, it has uh, several different images um, of, well, quite weird things actually. Uh, the name Pearl Jam is written in circles up the top with Backspacer on either side. Um, unlike most normal CDs, this one actually contains a separate case, which contains the CD. Um, as for tracks listing, it's probably not their best album, but they've got a fair amount of, like, not even half decent some, like, they've actually got a couple of great tracks on there, um, such as The Fixer, that's an obvious, um, Force of Nature, uh, Gonna See My Friend, and my favourite from this album, Just Breathe. Um, Okay, so uh, songs generally, the songs on the album generally go for about four to five minutes. You can find this album in most half decent CD stores and hell of a lot of bloody decent CD stores. Um, usual price ranges from about 20 to 25 bucks and Australian dollars. I don't know how much Yankee, it's probably more like 10 there. Um, yeah, it's a it's a brilliant album, um, and yeah, the songs don't go for long, they're only about 3-4 minutes like I said. Um, unlike most Pearl, of Pearl Jam's earlier stuff, this stuff isn't necessarily political as much as it is just good old fashioned rock and roll. Um, out of 10 I give this album a solid 9, um, much like my last review of Tomorrow When the War Began, the movie. Um, it's, like I said, it's got brilliant tracks on there, but it does take a long time to get right into it. Um, yeah, I had to listen to this album about three or four times before I could fully get into it. But once you get past that third, fourth stage and you start to know the songs a bit better, it's really decent. And I urge you all to go out, buy it, see what I mean. Thank you.